anybody in there? Hey guys, my name is Leah. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribe if you have not already, and if you're new, welcome. I will be doing a tattoo and piercing video today. I don't have many tattoos because I've just started getting them. Same with my piercings. The first piercing that I had were my ears. Just the two little ones on the side, but I did gauge them, if you can see that. They're up to a double zero now. The second piercing I got was my belly button, the little navel. I got that when I was 16. No real reason behind it. I thought it was cute. I wanted one, so I begged my mom to let me get it and I've had to do it twice now. First time I went to one over by our Fayette Mall. If you're from Kentucky, you know where that is. Paid $45 and she did it too shallow so it rejected a month later. It was disgusting. So I went to Georgetown and it was called Mysterious Inc. I loved the place, I loved the people there and they closed down. But I got my second one there, same spot. There is a little bit of scar tissue there. I only paid half the price and it has stayed. Right now I have my little owl dangly one in there. I guess the third piercing I got was this lip piercing. Each one, thought they were cute. Had a stud in at first. I wanted both of them, but I can only afford one at a time. And I didn't want to, you know, not be able to eat or anything. So I got this one two weeks later. So I have four piercings right now. I actually have a fifth one. It is my date. I have showed you all that many times. I have hereditary migraines that are just completely terrible. And since I got them from my mom's side, I also got from her my tolerance towards medicine. So after I take it a few times, it no longer affects me. That's the same with anything. Caffeine, you know, medication, antibiotics, anything like that. I become immune to it. It kind of sucks, not gonna lie. So I've been having these migraines and I heard that this piercing helped, so I went to go get it done. I got it done at, I got it done at Robbie's guy. He does it, tattoos and piercings out of his home. He's really nice, really sweet. Prices aren't outrageous either. They're actually pretty good. And I was having a migraine right as it happened. He was getting ready. All I heard was a pop. My entire body relaxed and I don't have migraines. I have small headaches so I'm gonna get this one done. I have heard that one side helps migraines and the other helps headaches so I'm going to test that out. I will let you know as soon as that happens if it works or not. Now for tattoos. I only have three. I have quite a more that I plan on getting. But my first one, if you don't already know, is the one that I got um, Friday the 13th. You can hardly see it. I'm sorry, it's right there. It's it's a little yin yang with 13. I got it exactly one month before Robbie asked me out and so it kind of looks like our anniversary. It looks like a little six and a one three. So there's that. And then for my birthday, I just, like a month and a half ago, I just turned 20 and I wanted to get my thigh tattoos. A lot of you have said how cute they are, how you love them, how you've seen other girls get them, and then there's the few of you that like to say I got the most basic tattoo out there. That is true, but it has a lot of meaning to it for me. If you can't really see them, I'll do a close up on them. It is, okay, I don't know what it's called, so like, I'm gonna butcher this. I call it a steer. It's like a wheel thingy that steers the boat. You go woo, like a captain. Yeah, okay. It says, be the ones who guide me, and it has an anchor, and it says, but nev never hold me down. Be the ones who guide me, but never hold me down. The reason I got this tattoo is because I've gone through a lot of BS in my life. I have just handled it and just let it blow over my head, or I've hit it straight on. So I got this tattoo as kind of as a reminder. Don't let others hold me down like I have in the past. Don't ever let them hurt me anymore. So it's like a daily reminder. I also, I really love them. I know they're basic. I know it's the classic tattoo, white girl tattoo. Now for future tattoos, I only have a few planned. I'm sure I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get another Friday the 13th right here. Hopefully my Zodiac. And then I'm going to get a zombie turtle. A, uh, someone sent me a drawing of a zombie anime girl. And it was so gorgeous, so much detail. And then right here, I plan on getting a hummingbird with a lily. That's all the tattoos that I have planned so far. That's all for my tattoos and piercings at the moment because I will be getting more, obviously. I'm even thinking of getting my septum pierced. I wanna get something up here pierced. Something other than my bottom lip. So, I will see you all later. I love you. Bye. If you're not subscribed to me, hit the subscribe button.
right there. So, 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 so,